You're here. You are here. I'm here? Yes, okay. sir. You can. Hello, Parker. Hello. It's good to see you, you again. Too. Thank you. Hi, thank you. Hello. Ah. I'm on Marie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> no, photograph. I can't take mine off. Wow. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Um, while photographers are at it for a few extra seconds, Allow me to remind you of the routine. If you want to ask a question, please raise your hand a little bit ahead of time so that we can see you, so that the young lady is going up and down there can get the microphone to you. When you have the microphone, please stand up. Return the mic. Thank you. Um, juste pour rappeler la routine, si vous avez une question à poser, soyez assez gentil de vous lever. De... I can't do it. Yes, I'm fine. I can't do this. Thank you very much. Go. Gotta go. It's my fault. I'm sorry. Dim, I see. Okay. Um, I, it, there are no plans as it stands to do a third, um, but uh, you know, wouldn't that be nice? And um, I, uh, I don't know if I'm much of a detective in real life, um, but I'd like to think so. Yes, this is autobiographical. Oh, it, I mean, I, I had a wonderful experience working with Woody on both of the both of the films. Um, and um, as he said, I mean, you don't need to. You, Woody has a very long and storied history, um, writing and directing great movies. So it's you know, it's an honor to be a part of 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 two. Um, I I loved it. You know, I met I met Woody twenty years ago, I guess on. Um, Oh, uh, the movie that Jennifer Tilly did. Someone get that? <laughs> and uh, the, the other movie with John Cusack and Mary Louise Parker. So 20 years later, I go in and I meet him in his office, and I'm, I'm the right fit for this role. Uh, a week before, I was at the uh, Krakow uh, Film Festival in Poland with Juliette Taylor as casting director. So all these... Uh, things happened that um, yeah, I was able to portray this part and I was I, I really enjoyed the experience. I, I learned a lot and um, yeah, got to, to, to work on a Woody Allen movie and play one of his women. I have, have loved his women and his characterization of women. No one, no one does it like him. So to, uh, to play someone um, deep and thoughtful and suffering and funny, was um, a real uh, a real honor, and uh, I really enjoyed it. My name here it says Paker, Paker oh. Posey, which I think is great. Okay. Is it same on the other? Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> I am Paker and Parker. Okay, <laughs> but yeah, this is my first Woody Allen film. Yep. Even as you speak. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I do think uh, in everybody's life there, there are times when there are turning points in your life when you suddenly realize that uh, something momentous is, can possibly happen if you make a choice. And uh, if, you make the cho if you make the right choice, great. Uh, in this case, the choice that Joaquin makes is irrational. But it's not so irrational, given uh, the comparison with the choices that we all make in, in our lives. Um, you know, if you, if you look at, uh, you know, people, people need something to, I hear bells. People they need something to uh, believe in in their lives. They have to choose whether they're, you choose whether life is going to be meaningful for you or meaningless. And people will choose religions in their lives, for example, and they, they'll make an irrational choice. They'll think that if they live a very good life, they will die and go to heaven and live in heaven for the rest of their life. They, they, that's no less crazy a thought then um, Joaquin thinking that if he commits this act, 
his life will suddenly turn around for the better. As long as there's something dedicated that you can believe in, um, you make a choice and you and you go with it. Uh, I don't know if I answered your question there. I was just rambling, uh, but th you know that's the way that I see it. Uh, it's all very professional. I have not seen or spoken to Kate since that movie. Um, you know, it's very professional. Emma and I did a movie uh, a couple of years ago, <clears throat> and then afterward. We did another movie, but you know people go their separate ways after after a film, and and um, you know it's all very very professional. You come in, you shoot the film, and then the last day of film, everybody is very teary, and and um, you you know you're not going to see the people anymore. But then you go off and you get on with your life, and so I have not seen Kate or spoken with Kate since that picture was over.